Hey everyone, Nicole here from Rotor Grinders to talk to you about uploading and editing your lineups in FanDuel by using the lineup headquarters tool. So we're going to start out in lineup HQ. You're going to select your sport from this drop down menu. You're going to select your correct slate over here. You're going to go in and give your players different exposures, exclude players you don't want. Once you have your player pool set up the way you want, build your desired number of lineups. Here are the 20 lineups. Go through and edit them as you need. And once you have all your lineups set up the way you want, and you're ready to export, you hit the export lineups to CSV button. This is going to generate a .csv file. It's going to have one line for each roster that you've created here. So you'll see all the player IDs and player names that were generated. We're going to save this file to upload to FanDuel. This is main2. So let's save as a .csv file. That's important. We're going to go into FanDuel. In the lobby here, I'm on the 730 main slate. Here's a 20 entry max contest. We're going to go enter these lineups. On the build screen here at the bottom, you'll notice there's an upload lineups from CSV button. So this is how we can enter them all at once. I'm going to click that. We do not need to download our CSV template because we already have one and it's already set up. So we just need to choose that file. Here it is. And we're going to enter those 20 lineups. That all worked. Let's go look at the upcoming lineups. And here they are, all 20 of them right here. Now, say later in the day you need to come through and edit your lineups. We have 100% exposure to Nurkic. Let's say Nurkic was out or we wanted to remove him. Let's just make that easy edit here. Go into our player pool. Exclude Nurkic. And then let's build 20 more lineups. And now we're going to take our new CSV file and save it off. OK. Now let's go back into FanDuel. On the upcoming lineups page, at the top of each sport here, where it says NBA main, over on the right, we have a CSV edit button. Now notice I have another CSV edit button up on the MLB lineups. Make sure you don't click the wrong CSV edit button or you'll be trying to edit baseball lineups. So in this case, we're gonna go down to the NBA one. We need to edit our lineups this way. Now we do need to download the CSV template because this is going to include all of our contest entries, whereas before we didn't have any entries yet. So let's take a look at this file. And you'll notice that we have entry IDs, contest IDs, and contest name for all of our entries here. Then over next to that, you'll see the point guard and shooting guard columns that we need to paste our players into. So. Let's open up main three, which is our edited one. And this is the one without any Nurkic in it, you'll see. So we need to grab all of the slots with the player IDs in them, copy them, go into our template and paste in our new players. And let's save that. This is upload template one. We need to make sure we save this as a .csv file. Now that we've edited our entries, we're on step three. Save the file and select it for upload below. So here's upload template one. And now we can upload that and edit our entries says 20 entries updated successfully. Go down and notice we've got Jordan, Deadman, all of our Nurkic now is gone. So if we need to make further edits, we'd follow that same process by going through the CSV edits. 
Or if you edited just some of your lineups, you could go and download that template and then back in the template, this is the baseball one, but you would just grab the entries you need based on the contest name or contest idea if you needed to change things in there. That's how you could edit multiple times throughout the day using the template provided by FanDuel. So that's how that all works. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Dan Bach of Roto Grinders here to remind you about a great new addition we have to our browser extensions for FanDuel and on DraftKings. If you haven't used it already and you're a premium member, right now you can get the ownership projections and our projected fantasy points right there on the screen while you build your lineups. Again, this is exclusive for people who are premium subscribers at Roto Grinders, and it's making your experience of building lineups that much easier on the two big sites. Also on DraftKings, we've recently added the feature of being able to do that on the My Lineups page as well. So check it out if you haven't done so. It's free to get these browser extensions, but to get the premium add-ons, make sure you're a Roto Grinders premium subscriber.